YCAP has existed for over 35 years and it's always been about serving students to find hope and a brighter future. Five years ago, we took a step back and said we want to grow this in impact and in number of students reached. Two and a half years ago, the tornado could have derailed it completely, but what I'm so proud of is that we showed up and continued to serve students differently but with even more impact since the day of the tornado through COVID um, to where we find ourselves now. And that's K through 12, uh, whether we're in school or out of a center or now out of this beautiful building. Um, this is a leadership center for all of our staff wherever they're located and wherever they actually program. It's also the home to our middle school work, that deepest intervention work and the work that we do over the summer. So I'm really excited that we have a new home, but the truth is YCAP was, is, will always be about helping students find their best future. When I first came to YCAP, you know, over 15 years ago, it was a whole different place. YCAP at that time consisted of just a couple of programs, probably about 100 kids that we were serving throughout the year, maybe a little bit more and a very small staff team in a large building all by ourselves. I am excited and hopeful for this space and this new YCAP because I do think that we're different. Everybody is different, right, since, since 2020. Um, and, I, and I think that YCAP is, is different in ways that we never imagined and um, that are going to be helpful for us moving into the future. We've had this weird year of trying to figure out what life looks like after COVID and after the tornado and I really hope that we can continue the work that we've done and really become um, that pillar in our community that's a safe space and does the work and serves our students and our families. We always serve them well whatever the building was or the room was that we had for them but to offer them our best, our brightest, this new fresh start, I'm really excited. I know that that will feel honoring and important to the students that we serve in that work, and that makes me happy. YCAP is so much more than this building. It's the people, and it's the students, and it's our staff, and it's the community. And so my hope is that the work that even has been continuing during the pandemic um, would be able to just be strengthened now that we have a space and we can move back in and rebuild. And whenever you're rebuilding, you get the chance to start something new and to renew and refresh what's already, the good work that's already been happening. If we only got back to where we were, that would be amazing. Um, but I know it's gonna be so much more than that. And I can't wait to see the impact that all of the rebuild, YCAP being back to normal uh, has on generations of people. East Nashville has needed us for many years and still needs us. We stay committed to the students that we serve here. In addition to being now in Robertson, all across Davidson and in Williamson County, we're here for good. We're still here for good, and we intend for that to continue to be true for as long as I can imagine. The impact that our team, the programs, WACAP overall has had on the youth that I personally have seen come through the program, um, it is, it is not the building, it is not the buses, <laughs> it is not the rooms, the furniture, um, it is the people. Uh, you know, we, we need rooms, we need buses, we need all those things, right, to, to hold our programs, but the most important thing and the most impactful thing is the people.